Hi, I'm Dr. Jared Gardner, and today I'm going to share a fun little case with you, an incidental finding, but something that's pretty. So this was a biopsy of a basal cell carcinoma. You can see a tiny little bit of basal cell carcinoma down here. But what I wanted to share with you was all of these cells in the dermis. Um, these uh, uh, cool pink bubbly cells are called MOT cells, M-O-T-T, -T, MOT cells. And the clue to what they are is right in the background, all these cells in between. Let's go closer. Uh, these cells in the background have a purple amphiphilic cytoplasm, and you can see that they have pale pink area next to the nucleus and an adjacent nuclei, or, I'm sorry, an eccentric nucleus. So that's called the paranuclear Hof, and these cells are plasma cells. And these bubbly pink cells that are much larger, these are also plasma cells, the MOT cells. So MOT cells are plasma cells that have multiple Russell bodies. A Russell body is one of these little vacuoles or these little bubbles. And what these are filled with is a bunch of immunoglobulin. So the mass cell, I'm sorry, the plasma cell makes the immunoglobulin and normally it secretes it out um, and exports it out of its cytoplasm to be circulated in the body as floating antibodies, right? But here, these cells, for some reason, are defective and they are constipated and overloaded with antibodies that fill up these bubbles. And so uh, uh, when you have just one of these, you call it a Russell body. If you have a plasma cell that's loaded with them and has this clustered morula or grape-like uh, appearance, then you can call it a Mott cell. And if you're interested in the history of, uh, of how that, that name came to be and some little medical history about it, I found a nice little paper online. I'll put a link in the video description down below. If you uh, are into medical history, you can read about that. Um, uh, plasma cells, uh, you can't see it really well here, but th they also have that clock face or speckled cartwheel, uh, whatever, chocolate chip cookie, that's the word. I like that pattern of chromatin. You get uh, little splotches of dark aggregated chromatin and then lighter areas in between. You can kind of see it on a couple nuclei here. But anyway, these are just a fun and incidental finding. And here's something cool you can do. Um, I've talked about it before on other videos. If you flip the condenser, uh, if you have a rack mountable condenser on your light microscope, if you flip that off when you're at higher power, the color and the lighting is not very good. But what is cool is that it makes things that are three dimensional or that have the sharp boundaries between them stand out uh, much more sharply. So this is an example of if you uh, if you flip that, that's with the condenser flipped up, so it's brighter. Uh, but if you want to make that refractile three dimensionality stand out, flip the condenser off and then take a picture and you can see the bubbles, the uh, Russell bodies in these MOT cells are more obvious there. So why are all these plasma cells here? Well, I don't exactly know, but I'll tell you, I, I always like to think and, and jokingly say, uh, that, that the plasma cells are trying to attack the tumor. And that's probably actually the case, but I don't know for sure. I will say that seeing a sheet of tons of plasma cells with or without associated MOT cells underneath Melano, I'm sorry, underneath basal cell carcinoma, squamous cell carcinoma, squamous cell carcinoma in situ, Bowen's disease, actinic keratosis, I, I often see dense plasma cell rich infiltrates underneath those non-melanoma skin cancers and related entities in the skin on a regular basis, like many times per week in my practice. So uh, it's not something when I see this, it doesn't make me worry about myeloma involving the skin or anything like that. That, that can happen, uh, but, but, uh, but it's very normal and common to have really dense plasma cell infiltrates under basal cell carcinoma, squamous cell carcinomas and actinic keratoses, particularly in the face. I feel like we see it more there than other sites but uh, we see that sometimes doesn't mean anything it's just kind of a, a cool incidental finding that uh, does not change my diagnosis but anyway I just wanted to share this kind of fun uh, and interesting case for you I hope you enjoyed it have a great day